Welcome to the series of Relational Database Management System. Myself is Fatima Rafiq, Assistant Professor, Abed and Amda Senior College, BCA Department. We have already started with the concurrency control mechanism. We have seen uh, what is log-based protocol, what is timestamp-based protocol. We have started with the third topic that is deadlock. Deadlock, in the deadlock we will be having three important topics, deadlock detection, deadlock avoidance and recovery from a deadlock. In the previous lecture we have seen how to identify whether the transaction is a deadlock free or it is in the deadlock. We will identify whether the system is in the deadlock or deadlock free by using a wait for graph. Wait, it, if the wait for graph is containing a cycle it means that here we will be having a deadlock. The system is in the deadlock. If the wait for graph is without cycle, it means that it is a deadlock free. Consider the another example. As we have seen one example in the previous uh, lecture, this is the another example. What you can do, you can draw, draw the uh, graph by using the uh, instruction which is given here. Again, in this particular question, we will be having a four transaction, T1, T2, T3 and T4 and they are executing their instructions simultaneously. Here, the final resultant graph will be like this, where T1 is waiting for T2, T4 is waiting for T2, uh, T4 is waiting for T3 and T3 is waiting for T1. But th these waiting is not in the cyclic manner. So this particular wait for graph is uh, does not contain a cycle, so it is a deadlock free. There is no deadlock. What you can do, you can make this particular, um, you can solve this particular example by using the previous method which we have already seen. <coughs> Take this example, solve it by yourself and write in the comment box, box whether this example is a deadlock in this example system is deadlock or it is a uh, deadlock free now the last topic in this particular uh, chapter is deadlock recovery once if you find the system is in the deadlock it means that the wait for graph is containing a cycle the uh, next aim is to break that cycle or to recover the system from a deadlock so how we can recover the system by using the deadlock recovery method the most common solution to recover from a deadlock is to roll back one or more transaction to break the deadlock like if the system is in the deadlock it means that we have a multiple uh, multiple transaction which is waiting for another transaction uh, for a infinite time so at that time what we can do to avoid the deadlock or to break the deadlock one of the transaction we will take and we just wants to roll back it once it is roll back means it is it will release it, its all data item uh, that is re required by another transactions so they will use it and then the progression will happen in the transactions so a transaction can be recovered using the following action number one selection of victim determine which transaction to be roll back see roll backing a transaction is not a problem but the main question is whose transaction which transaction has to be rolled back for this particular situation, we need to determine who is a victim. Those transactions that will incur the minimum cost will be rolled back because the transaction has already started its execution. So rolling back it will create, a, we need to re release the resources. So to which transaction we will roll back, it is a very costly. So we need to identify the cost of rollback. It can be decided by using these factor. Number one, how long the transaction has computed and how much longer the transaction will compute before it's complete the assigned task. Like for example, if you have a transaction T1, which it starts, it starts its execution. And if consider it is having a hundred uh, set of instructions and the deadlock detected at the instruction number 99. So at that time, rolling back that particular transaction is very co costly because it already executed the 99 instruction and it is waiting for only one instruction instruction how many data item this next question is how many data item it has used so if the transaction is require two data items one data item is already used and in it, it is waiting for the another data item so this is also a factor that how many data item it 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 use if it require minimum data items we will keep it as it is if require more data items we will roll back it 
how many more data item it needs to be complete how many no more data like for example if again you consider the transaction t1 which is holding the data item 2 and it is waiting for only one data item we will make we will uh, tell the data, data uh, transaction t1 to wait but if another transaction is a uh, transaction t3 let's consider it is having uh, the data item three data item and it is waiting for three data item more so that will like it require more data items so what we can do we can tell the transaction t3 to roll back itself next question is how many transactions will involve in the rollback if we roll back we know that because it is a deadlock every transaction is interdependent transaction means rolling back one transaction may leads to the rolling back of multiple transaction so we need to say we need to check whether it is a cascading rollback or not if it is a cascading rollback we need to avoid it so it is one of the factor of identifying the selection of victim so these questions are important whenever we are determining the transaction for a rollback after once the transaction is identified then we actually roll back it we abort the transaction and the transaction has to be restart again third situation there may be a happen that the same transaction is selected as a victim again and again so this is result in the starvation the most common solution to include the number of rollback and cost factor like for example if i have transaction t1 t2 and t3 every time whenever i need to uh, i have a deadlock i am taking or selecting the t1 transaction itself so how many time the t1 transaction will roll back here what we can do we can assign one number the this many time the rollback will happen after that the transaction has to execute itself so that can avoid the situation of a starvation so these are deadlock recovery method we have co covered the deadlock prevention deadlock avoidance and deadlock detection and deadlock recovery i think all the topic is clear to you if you find any difficulty in any of the topic in this particular chapter you can write in the comment box thank you